Okay, so back to our Friday night Chinese special. Um, we're going to do uh, the uh, my variation of the deep fried shredded um, beef, vegan style. Uh, for this, we're going to use some seitan. Uh, seitan, uh, you can buy this ready made, or you can make it super super easy to make. Uh, this one I've made already. Uh, as you can see, it looks almost like a chicken breast. You can flavor it with the broths. Um, maybe another day, I'll, 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 when I cook it, I'll, I'll do another video so people can see how easy it is to make. It's a meat alternative, and a high protein item, and it's what vegans and plant-based diets are eating at the moment. And it's a wonderful alternative for meat. So we've shredded it, we've blanched it in a, in a meat stock, in a meat flavor stock, and that means by using different vegetables and herbs, uh, soy sauce like that, that gives it the flavor of meat. So we've got that here, and you can see the stock there. And it's quite dark with roasted onions and really nice flavor in there. Here we have what would be uh, equivalent to egg white if we were making it with meat, uh, is chickpea. So that's gonna make the, the, the batter to fry the beef. Uh, we're gonna season it with a little bit of Chinese five spice. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of hoisin in there. And again, this all gives that uh, seitan a wonderful flavor, just like a Chinese, yeah? So again, we put that all in there. Now, while that's marinating a little bit or steeping, whatever you wanna say, I have a, a pan here of um, sunflower oil, which is uh, for me to fry. Uh, I don't like to use deep fat fryers, they're not my thing. I like to fry properly, just be careful if you're doing this at home. Uh, so while we're waiting for that to marinate, we're gonna make the sauce for the deep fried shredded um, uh, fake chili beef. Super, super easy, ginger and garlic, which we add into our pan. Again, sesame oil toasted. This is like really one of my favorite things to cook with is toasted sesame oil. I'm just going to turn this, this pan up a little bit, get that, get that started. While that's cooking, add in the chilies. and you give it a little stir. You get that nice roasted flavor out of there now. Sometimes people like to add um, celery to this. Uh, there's different recipes where you can add a little bit of celery to it for flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit of honey for sweetness. You can also add Szechuan peppers to it as well. I'm gonna add Chinese five spice, a little bit of five spice in there. Boom, boom, boom. Then again, a little bit of house in. If you have um, vegan oyster sauce or oyster sauce, if you want to make it non-vegan, you can add that also, but I like this. And then I'm gonna add my tomato paste in there or tomato ketchup. I'm gonna add that just like that. Just let that cook. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. You can add water or vegetable stock. It's really up to you. scallion in there, a little bit of sesame seed, and then pretty much you're just going to allow this to cook now, all right, just a little bit, and then that's your sauce that we're going to coat the, um, the, the, the meat or the, the plant-based meat with. All right. And go. All right, so we've marinated the, uh, the seitan for long enough now. We're cooking the sauce. So while the sauce is up cooking, the oil's heating up, the fried rice is already uh, started. I'm just gonna finish the, uh, the process of the beef or the uh, seitan. 
You can do this with chicken, you can do it with beef, you can do it with seitan, uh, you can do it with uh, dry tofu, but you need to make sure the tofu is nice and dry. And then you, you add the cornstarch. Okay, so really get it nice and thick. All right, I'm gonna drain a little bit of this liquid off or add more cornstarch. As you can see, it starts to get a little bit thick now, like that. So basically what I'm creating is a, a cornstarch batter, which is flavored with five spice. I'm just gonna test the, okay, you see it's nice and hot. I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. I'm going to add I'm just going to add my seitan in there. Fry it nicely, like so. You see it's getting nice fry to it now. Okay, I don't want to overcook it because it can become quite dry. I'm just going to let that fry a little bit. Now to finish the sauce, then I'm gonna add, I like mine spicy, I've got some homemade, um, uh, basically scotch bonnet or habanero sauce. So me and my wife, we do like spicy food, so, and it goes, you can use sweet chili sauce if you like, or sambal, and then also I'm gonna add some vinegar. Brown rice vinegar is going in there, really nice flavor. And of course, a little bit of soy sauce, just to finish the sauce off. Sauce is going to sit there. Now it's time just to take this, the seitan out, the crispy seitan. Just going to leave it a little, just a little bit longer. Get that nice and hot, nice and crispy. And remove the sauce and then go on to the next part just to finish this off. So again, we're going to use sesame oil. Get the pan nice and hot with the sesame oil. We put the rice back onto here. So now, what we're going to do, add the garlic and ginger, some scallion. In here we have peppers, leeks, and red peppers, yellow peppers, like that. In there, some carrots, some red onion. And some snow peas. Okay, so our crispy beef is ready. We just drain it. Saute our vegetables. Uh, 
Then we're getting ready for plating now. Because we're going to eat this for our dinner. So I have my sauce. Vegetables nicely cooked. In goes the, the crispy beef. Rice is nearly ready. It really smells wonderful right now. I'm getting all them vegetables working with the with the beef. And of course, now we have the sauce that really makes this dish what it is. So now we have the two components with this. And we're ready to plate. Okay. Let's start with the fried rice. And just put it in a nice bowl. Nice thing like this. Leftovers we can make a salad out of. And the crispy beef, we just spoon over like so. Like so. Oop. Garnish it, some sesame, some scallions, and there you have it. Not too shabby, yeah? So, if you'd like to see any more um, vegan style recipes or basic recipes or anything like that, um, stay tuned.